Hi guys. Right, uh, so done all my fatherly chores for the day, taking the wife and the boy out for a little bit of shopping and uh, a nice walk around my local country park. And now it's time for dad time and coy time. So um, I've got my waders on. <sighs> and um, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to attempt to clean up these backy showers. Now, um, I did go down to screw fix this morning. I picked up a load of uh, stainless steel uh, M8 bolts um, to basically replace all the bolts on this unit and make it all nice and all tidy. And uh, also what I've actually done this morning is I've gone into the pump house, I've wrapped my brain, scratched my head and um, thought about how I want to get this system um, to draw in water uh, because I've had some great comments on my last video references backy shower some people have put me in my place quite rightfully so I'm quite new at this um, I was going on about I was going to put a 1.5 inch um, uh, return into this backy shower but now I'm going to go for a two inch so and I'm going to pull straight off the bottom drain I'm a little bit worried about sediment too much sediment going into this backy shower but I, I really don't think it's going to make a difference it's just going to filter through and uh, plop back into the uh, into the pond if anything does filter through and then eventually go into the nexus so where my bottom drain is coming out and into my pump house I'm going to put a four inch T into a what into a two inch pipe into a two inch pipe and then that's going to uh, um, attach straight on to a 3000 Evolution Aqua Vary pump. I plan on putting two and a half thousand litres at least over the shower. So I don't want to run the pump flat out to prolong the life of it. I think they're pretty good anyway. I'm not sure if they're brushless or anything, but I've had a couple of Vary pumps. I've got a 10,000 and a 20,000 at the moment and um, they're, they're just running fault faultlessly. Um, so I've ordered one of those 3000 Vary pumps, I've ordered all the pipe work that I needed, um, I've ordered a 2 inch bulkhead fitting which is going to go um, through onto the side of my shower which I will show you in a minute. I think it's the best way I can get it to disguise where the pipe work is going to go. But I'll show you about how I'm going to fit it and my plans of fitting, hopefully I can execute what I've got in my grey matter. But as all soldiers know, no plan survives first contact. In other words, you can plan how to attack anything, plan how to do anything in life, but until you're upon that situation and you're at the door and you go in the house, you don't know what's going to happen and then you're just relying on your training but I'm going to rely on other people's comments on my uh, on my YouTube because there's some there's some really knowledgeable people out there that's done some great comments and uh, and I do appreciate that you know with flow rates uh, pipe pipe sizes and someone did actually suggest uh, the best way to clean the stainless steel up as well on the back of shower so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to jet wash all the crud off it just uh, general, you know, sediment and whatnot, and uh, take off all the old bolts. And from there, I'm going to um, use some white vinegar and baking soda. So we'll see what happens. I've got some patio cleaner as well, which uh, might work, but we'll, we'll see. I think it's going to come up pretty good just with a jet wash, to be honest, and a little bit of elbow grease. So, um, yeah. Watch your space.
So guys, it's come up better than I thought it was going to come up. Even just with a quick jet wash, you know, you can see that difference straight away. Um, and obviously, if you can see these, these are all, someone's just put like normal standard mild steel on there. So I'm going to exchange all of those in a minute. And that one's the same, see? So uh, yeah, let's crack on with the other two. So guys, um, what I've done so far is this kind of jet washed the worst off. Um, I've got some baking powder in there, or bicarb in there, and some white vinegar straight in. Look at that for a reaction, guys. Blum, 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 blum. So the next thing I'm going to do is, yeah, just scrub the stain of steam with this. And, uh, yeah, should come good. I can't remember who the YouTuber was to, uh, that told me to use this, but thank you very much. This actually works fantastic. I'll show you the results later. <sighs> Jobs are good. So um, I've cleaned up all the stainless steel surfaces now. Wasn't easy. Um, I give it a jet wash um, and then uh, went over the whole lot with um, some uh, bicarb and some white vinegar which worked pretty well but it seemed to have quite a lot of um, uh, lime scale on it and the only way I could get the lime scale off well the best way I found was with the old uh, trusty Makita orbital sander with a, an 80 grit um, yeah and uh, that is the result guys um, I've cleaned all the little brackets as well um, I've got the new nuts and bolts now to go onto this, so uh, I'll be back shortly with the finished product. Okay, guys, so uh, it's taken me the best part of possibly uh, three, four hours, but um, I finally finished cleaning up the back of the shower. Uh, what I've done is, um, just to reiterate on the rest of the video, I've uh, jet washed it off. Um, I cleaned it down with some uh, white vinegar and uh, bicarb and uh, it didn't bring it up to the right standard that I wanted it to so I had to basically refinish the steel so what I done is uh, I got my uh, uh, orbital sander with a 120 grit on it and uh, it took off all the residue and basically made it look like brand new I've replaced the bolts so like uh, these are some of the better bolts to come off so if you can look here all of these bolts were pretty rusty do you know what I mean so pretty nasty so uh, I took those off went down to screw fix and I got some sort of like mushroom headed kind of stainless steel bolts and uh, some of the um, the locking nuts you know the uh, uh, poly knock locking nuts. I can't remember. Is it? I think it's poly polyester or polyurethane or whatever they lock. Okay, so um, yeah, so let me just put these back there. This is when the fish eat uh, literally sinking pellets. Got to be careful they don't roll off. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll show you around the uh, backy shower now. I'm really chuffed with it and it's going to look really nice. Um, a nice addition, uh, on, you know, on the pond. Um, and, like, and like I said, I'm a great fan of seeing uh, the workings and the engineering uh, side of things. Um, and I'll actually show you a quick link, uh, a quick picture of my last Harley I built. Um, so you can see how I like it all stripped down. Here she is.
Believe it or not, I made that. So I got an old uh, donor Harley Davidson. It had an Evo 1340 engine. It had a, uh, I think it had a shovel uh, head uh, four speed kickstart box on it. I bought a new gooseneck frame and I pretty much just kick bashed the whole thing to how I liked it. Um, painted it myself. I done everything myself on it basically. Um, if you, if anyone's interested in the Harley, I'll show you some more details on it. But I actually airbrushed a Samurai down the tank because I'm a great fan of um, zero engineering bikes. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but they're actually fantastic. It's a Japanese uh, builder. And again, he loves the engineering of things. So let me show you the backy shower. Well, well, well. Hello, Mrs. Jones. So as you can see, I've exchanged all of these bolts here um, and they're all nice now. I've taken all like the little rust patches off it. <laughs> okay, that wouldn't pass an army uh, um, inspection. But anyway, um, yeah, I've taken 99.9% .9 of all the stains off that. And if you can see, you can just see where it's been refaced with the, uh, with the 120 grit. But you know, I don't mind that. It's uh, it's a lot nicer than it was, and uh, what a steal! Boom, four hundred quid. Thank you, mother, for the badger. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's just stuck in my head. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Any questions? I'm all ears.